Well, good morning. Uh, as you may have noticed, you're not here. It's Sunday and nobody's at church. Well, except for me. Um, but that's okay because we're still going to have church. And if you think about it, this is kind of awesome because uh, no one's here to laugh at my dance moves. And you get to stay at home and do church in your PJs. If you're not in your PJs, you should probably change back into your PJs because I would never leave my PJs unless I had to. Anyway, I'm super excited about uh, this week and the week's uh, coming ahead, and I know it's going to be a little bit different, but I promise you it's going to be a great little adventure for us. Um, but different can be hard sometimes. Different uh, can be scary. Different can cause us to worry. And worry is kind of a tough thing, right? Worry is like taking your backpack and filling it with bricks, right? And then trying to carry that backpack around all day. I mean, at first, one or two worries is not that big of a deal, but eventually that backpack gets really, really heavy. It's really hard to do anything. I mean, if you do sports, oh, or especially if you have to like walk home from school, like this back get, backpack gets pretty heavy and eventually you fall over. So while none of us are without worry, everybody worries about something, we got to know what to do with our worry. And right now, you've probably seen a lot of people who are worried. You've probably seen your teachers worried. You've probably seen your parents worried. And you've probably even been a little bit worried about what's going on. And that's okay. It's normal to worry. Everybody worries about something at some time. But what we want to try to do is avoid carrying around all that worry everywhere we go. So I once worked for this rancher, right? It's kind of like a farmer. And we would go out and we'd work all day in his fields and on his harvesters and we'd do all sorts of stuff. And one day we had a really, really bad day. Um, when we got out to the work site, the harvester that we were going to use wasn't working. It didn't start. And so we had to do everything by hand, which took like 10 times as long. Uh, and then we found out when we went down to take, or we went to take our break that we left our lunches at home. And then when we got ready to go home for the day, his truck had a flat tire. And so we couldn't go anywhere. We had to change the flat tire first. So it was not our best day. Um, and as we were driving back to his house, he was really, really quiet, uh, and I could tell that the day had kind of gotten to him. The only thing he really said to me was, would you like to stay for dinner? And so when we got to his house, he got out of the car, we started walking to his front door, and he actually paused. He stopped for a second by this little tree that he had in his front yard, and he went over and he just kind of randomly touched some of the branches. And I thought, well, that was a little weird, but I didn't say anything. So we went inside, and the second we got inside, his whole attitude, his whole demeanor changed. Uh, he went from being really sad and really bummed out and really quiet to, boom, big old smile on his face as he wrestled and hugged and laughed with his kids. Um, his whole attitude changed just like that. So after dinner, as we were walking back to the car, as he was getting ready to take me home, I couldn't help but ask him. I was like, hey, why did you stop over by that tree? And he told me that that was his worry tree. And I was like, what's a worry tree? And he said, you know, some days are bad, some days are good, but on the really tough ones, I don't want to take all that stuff home to my family. Like, it doesn't belong in my house with my kids, with my wife. And so what I do is I stop by that tree and I hang up my worries from the day. And I leave them there until the next morning where I pick them up again. And it's funny, he said that whenever he goes to pick them back up, they don't seem quite as heavy uh, as they were the day before. Sometimes our worries seem really, really big and scary, and it makes it really hard to focus on much of anything. Uh, but the good thing is, is God's bigger than all of those worries combined. Uh, and he wants us to take our worries to him. He wants us to bring our worries to him. The Bible says this about worries in the book of Philippians. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need, and then thank him for all he has done. Then you will get to experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. See, God doesn't think that we won't ever feel worry or we won't ever feel anxious about anything, um, but he does want us to take those worries to him instead of carrying them around with us wherever we go. So this week, I've got a little activity for you guys to do. You guys are gonna make your very own worry tree. Well, not really a tree, uh, that would be weird. So instead, I'm gonna have you guys make some sort of a worry wall or a clipboard or just some place in your house where you can leave your worries until the next day. So Layla and I made one last night and it looks a little something like this. That way. So the way this works is that whenever Layla or me or my wife feel worried about something, we're gonna write it down and we're gonna hang it up on these little hooks right here. 
and we're going to leave it there. And then before we go to bed each night, we're going to take some time and we're going to pray about them. We're going to ask God to take all of these worries away from us and to give us that peace uh, that exceeds our understanding. Now, you don't have to do something that's excessive. It can be something as simple as a clipboard where you write stuff down. It could be a, a poster board that you get from the store. But since you guys have a little bit of extra time this week, it might be cool to make something big like this with your family. Just put it somewhere near the door of your house, like maybe in the, in the laundry room when you walk in or right inside the door before you leave. You don't want to put this in your room. You don't want it to be something that you have to look at all the time. We want this to be a place where you can leave your worries for God to deal with. Uh, and then go on with the rest of your day. So I'll have a little bit more of instructions and ideas in our parent video. Um, I miss you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys here. Uh, whenever we get back to doing church here on Sunday, we're going to throw a big old party. Um, it's going to be great. Miss you guys. Love you. Happy Sunday.